guys. So it is the long awaited video you guys have been waiting for. I think majority of you have probably been wondering about this, asking me questions I don't answer. And that was because I knew I was going to make a video like this. I just didn't know when I was ready or when I wanted to. So, but here I am sitting down. I actually tried filming this video a month ago and I just didn't like how it turned out. So here I am trying it again for you guys and hoping I do okay. I don't have any notes. I don't really have an order for the video. I'm just going to try and think of a good way to tell a story slash start this video so I'm gonna start off with just telling you obviously you guys know what it is it's a weight loss update and yes I am calling it a weight loss update because I still have a future I still have plans for the future even though I haven't lost any weight done completely opposite since my last weight loss I don't even know if I did a weight loss update after that I just did a what I'm trying to get what I eat every day to lose weight video that was a lot this time last year I'm pretty sure so I'm just going to start off with saying is if you guys are new and you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you guys, I will link my weight loss video down below. That was a video I made almost two years ago because I started my weight loss journey January of 2014 and it's now past January of 2016. So it's already been past two years, but I had, didn't tell you guys until around like June or July of that. I think it was June is when I told you guys that I was doing a weight loss thing because I wanted to make sure I was committed. So it's been almost two years since I've made a video about it, but it's been over two years since I actually started it and I have not ended it. I'm just going to go ahead and get that out there. No, I have not stopped technically. So I'm just going to get out there. Yes, I have gained weight. Um, I know I've told myself I would never do that, but it's life. Things happen. Um, it's not always going to be perfect. Um, it's not always going to be, oh my gosh, you're going to lose weight the whole journey. You're not going to have any setbacks. Um, that's not how it was for me. It's been over two years and I'm still not at my goal weight and not close. And I'm further than I was two years ago or my junior year. It's now almost the end of my senior year. And um, the beginning of my junior year was my lowest weight. Um, I will try and include pictures of my lowest weight here because some of you guys are like oh I don't see any difference you look the same thank you I I wish I I wish that was true but I do look different I my face I've gained weight in my face and other areas and also I have PCOS which makes it very very easy to gain weight and hard to lose weight so you know the normal person would stop their diet and they might not gain as quickly or as easily but as for me I can gain like that because of PCOS which sucks but it's very common in women if you guys want me to make a whole separate video about it I can but I will link Kendall Ray's down below she just made a recent video about it and I could not have explained it any better than myself Does that makes sense I could not explain it any better than her so I will leave her video down below if you guys are curious more about PCOS I will leave that below so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with um I'm gonna go ahead and let get this out there because I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering like how much have you gained what are your plans well I'm gonna tell you how much I've gained and how that happened and then after that I will skip to what are my what is my future what's my plan to get back to where I was slash get even farther like losing weight I guess you would say after softball of my junior year so I would say around September let's go with October around October of 2014 is sort of where I started getting out in the deep end like I've started going weeks without going back to my diet um usually throughout the whole throughout the other months from January I would just have one cheat day but when school started um I was hanging out with friends a lot I had Halloween that Thanksgiving and Christmas was the death of me <laughs> so I'd say around October of 2014 to now, I've gained 25 pounds back. Um, it's hard to say, <laughs> it kind of hurts. Um, I lost a total of 65 to 70 pounds. So I am not where I started, nowhere near, well, a little bit nearer than I want to be, but I'm not where I started, which is to me a, an accomplishment since it's been two years, over two years since I started and I haven't gained all of it back even though I've gained a big chunk that I did not want to gain back. So I've gained back 25 pounds. Um, 
I haven't, I haven't weighed myself in about two weeks, so I don't know if it's more. But as of two weeks ago, it's been 25 pounds. So I'm going to just go ahead and say 65 was my highest. So I'm down back to 45 pounds lost. Um, when I made my weight loss video, I was 55 pounds. So I'm 10 pounds before my weight loss video that I made. Um, you know, I'm not proud to say that, but I just want to tell you guys the truth. I'm not done. I still, every day I still think about, oh, tomorrow I'll get back on track. I've had that mindset since I started gaining weight back. I've said, okay, tomorrow I'll get back on track and it didn't happen and it sucks. <laughs> it, I mean, it really does suck. I really wish I didn't do that. I told myself I never would. Um, I'm telling myself right now I'll never get back to where I started and that's staying true as of now. Um, so basically, just the holidays of the end of that year that I started kind of put me set back. Then I had a cruise that January, and I remember if you guys remember in that cruise video, I said my new resolution was to get back where I was. Um, I know back then I, I gained like seven pounds, and I was like tetrified, like oh my god, seven pounds. But now I would take those seven pounds any day. I would take that any day. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Um, and then just that whole year of 2015, I said I was going to get back on track. I would lose 10, get it back, lose it, get it back. It was kind of a non-cycle, um, especially towards the end of last year of 2015 is when I really had that. I'd lose 10 and I'd gain it right back. And it's just part of life. I mean, it's this really long journey I'm on and you guys had asked for weight loss updates and I'm like I haven't lost any I've done the complete opposite so I knew I was gonna make this video telling you guys the truth and that's basically the truth um, I've gained 25 pounds in about two years so but I hold it close to my heart saying I will never get back to where I was because I was not a happy person then I I wasn't happy I I can honestly say I was probably depressed a lot. Um, I never talked about that because I don't want to be those people that are trying, the people think I'm trying to get attention, I'm not. Um, but I can honestly say I was a way depressed person um, back at my highest weight. And I can honestly say at my lowest weight, the beginning of my junior year was one of the best times of my life. I can look back and I see pictures of me smiling, I'll try and include them or even videos of myself, I was more confident, I was smiling a lot more, and I just look back at those pictures and I just get this feeling of, I want to feel like that again, because I'm not confident as much as I was back then. Back then, in my lowest weight, I still thought I wasn't that little, I, but I look back now and I'm like, dang, I was pretty little for my for me. Um, and I, like, I remember looking back and I was just always laughing and all my friends, um, my long life best friend Tuslin would be like, oh my god, your arms are so little. And I, when, at the time I didn't believe her, but I look back now and I'm like, wow, my arms are pretty little. And I remember just laughing and smiling a lot more. Um, I'm not saying I'm like a really sad person or anything, but I can honestly say my weight does affect my feelings about myself and just my overall, overall emotions. I was a lot happier then. Um, I still had those struggle days where I didn't feel like I looked different than when I started. Um, but I was genuinely a really happy person in my lowest weight and what happened is I remember I got in a rut where I couldn't lose weight. I stayed the same weight for like two or three weeks and I didn't know what was wrong. I was eating healthy. I was going to the gym every day and I just got at a point where my body was used to me doing all the things I was doing for those eight months or nine months that it just got stuck and the getting stuck kind of made me lose motivation which is where slowly I deteriorated and gained weight back. I really, I think to myself, do I really want to lose weight because I want to look littler or do I want to lose weight because I want to feel better? And honestly, a lot of the times it's just because I want to look littler because it's just my mindset of how society tells people how they need to look and all these things that I kind of said in my weight loss video um, way back when. and. Lately, I've been thinking to myself, no, I really want to lose weight and get back to where I was because I felt healthy. I felt really healthy. Me and my best friend Bridget would go to the gym every single day and I remember telling her, like, I'm not skinny in no way, shape, or form, but I feel so healthy because I was drinking a lot of water, I was eating perfectly, I was going to the gym every day. Sometimes we went twice a day, I think. If not, I might be mistaken. Or we would go to the gym and then I would do a workout at my house and I felt great.
great. I felt the healthiest I've ever felt my entire life. And I look back and I'm just like, I want to feel like that again. It's not so much that I want to get littler, which I would like to do that, but it's more of I want to feel great and healthy about myself because you can feel really healthy and still be overweight to everybody else, but in reality, as long as you're healthy, your weight really doesn't matter as long as you're working out and you feel great about yourself, it's all that really matters. And I just want to feel like that again because now I eat healthy at school. I'll pack a really healthy lunch and eat healthy breakfast, but then when I get home, we'll go out to eat or I'll eat out with friends and all this other stuff and I just, I want to get away from that. So for my future goals, I'm at this part of the, I'm at this part of the video, for the future, um, tomorrow, Monday, today's Sunday, Easter, happy Easter if this is uploaded on Easter. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to get a gym membership um, for two or three months because when I go to college, my college has a gym there where I can work out for free. It's just free to us, but um, when I was starting my weight loss journey, I went to this gym with my friends, which I could get there for free because of them. My friends just aren't interested in working out anymore, which is completely understandable, but that leaves me with not a place to go to the gym anywhere. But tomorrow I am going to get a gym membership for um, 24 hour fitness, it's anytime fitness and I'm going to get a gym membership there and I have a plan to work out four or three days a week and I know in the summer I'm going to be going to Florida so I kind of just want to get good about, feel good about myself for Florida and maybe leave a little room for me to have fun in Florida and I just want to get back to where I was. I, I don't want to disappoint myself anymore. I wake up every day like why did I, why did I let myself gain all that weight back and I'm just really ready to get back to where I was. I'm not really looking to get lower than I was because I mean I hope to do that soon but really my biggest goal is just to get where I was because I look back at videos and I liked how I looked in the videos I could tell that I didn't have to worry about oh is this camera getting my double is this is this angle getting my double chin do I look okay do I need to like now all like a lot of times now I'll think like oh do I look okay in the shop but I remember back then I didn't even have to worry about that because I was just so more confident in myself and I, my confidence level has just dropped a lot since then and so my and um our kitchen is full of healthy food. We never really strayed away of eating really junky food again. It was just a matter of fact of me eating out a lot more and not really going to the gym anymore or working out. So, like I said, I would have those phases, but it wasn't a long-term goal, like a long-term thing like it was over two years ago. So yes, my goal is to get back to where I was in at least three months. I hope I hope to lose 25 pounds in three months. That might be stretching it, overworking myself. I don't know. If I don't do that, it's okay. As long as I just get, as long as I just feel better about myself and lose the weight, I'll feel great. I'm sure to do update videos for you guys. I will be sure to do that since now it's more of just a me getting back to where I was. I feel like now that I've let this big weight off myself, telling you guys, yes, I've gained weight. You guys probably could tell by the videos I was making that I was, you could, I can see it in my face. I could see that I was getting a little bit bigger than what I was. Um, but yeah, I hope you, I'm glad I made this video. I feel so much better getting it off my chest and letting you guys know. And so this is my long awaited weight loss update. I'm still calling it a weight loss update like I said at the beginning because I still plan to lose weight even though I've gained 25 of my 65 back. I plan to get those 25 pounds off and look and feel great about myself again and I'm just really ready and I hope you guys are ready to come along with me this time. I'm gonna make more update videos maybe once a month and let's just wish me luck. I wish myself luck and if you guys are in the same rut let me know so we can do this together. I've met so many new friends on Instagram that we talk on Instagram a lot. I'll comment on their pictures. I'll like their pictures because of my weight loss video and I just I like building a community with you guys so join me again for this and I'm not giving up I never gave up you technically because I still had it in the back of my mind you know what I still care I still want to lose weight but I'm fully mentally prepared and physically prepared because I got a gym membership or I will tomorrow and gym memberships aren't free so I plan on using my gym membership so I love you guys. Thank you so much for asking for the updates because it motivated me to just be like, okay, they, they want to know and they, they deserve to know and it feels great because I feel like I'm admitting, I'm admitting it to myself by telling you guys that 
Natalie, you need to get back to work. You need to do this before you're long gone. And I don't want to be like that at all. So, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really, really long and I'm really sorry. But I just had a lot to talk about. And I'm sorry if it wasn't really organized that well. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason to this video. I just, when, it, when I thought of it, I said it out loud. So, but yeah. I will see you guys next time for an update or any other type of videos I do on my channel. So, Stick with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!